I lost track of how many accounts I've blown up on the way to becoming consistently profitable. Now, everybody's definition of what a, a blow up is, is going to be a little bit different, right? Because you're going to have some people that are willing to risk their entire account, right? And, and, and that counts as a blow up to them. There's other people where if they lose 5% or, or 10% there, then, then that's a blow up to them, right? Like there, there's no right or, or wrong answer to, to what the blow up point is. It, it's a very personal decision. For me, uh, I would say that the, the worst drawdown that I've, that I've had in uh, over the, my first 10 years, right? And, and it took me 10 years to finally gain consistency in the market that uh, like that that was insane but uh, the worst drawdown during that period was about 30 percent right and, and and i considered that to be uh, a blow up uh, like it would be hard to come back from it and it was right because back then i didn't have a solid strategy i wasn't clear on my why or or what i was even trying to accomplish the only thing that i knew that I wanted was, I want to make money, right? Well, like, it, well, like oh yeah, well, like the, the market is just this this thing that, that spits out money uh, uh, when you place a trade on it. And it took me a very long time to learn that it doesn't work that way. Even many of the early books that I read didn't talk about having a specific goal, right? It wasn't until much later on that I uh, started studying uh, this guy, William O'Neill, right? The book, How to Make Money in Stocks, where he's just profiling the best stocks uh, in history and how they went up 500, 1,000% or more. And come to think about it, like, uh, I'm not sure that, that there was a clear why in there either. It, it was more about like once I learned market wizards uh, and I started to, to study all the different types of traders that there were and figuring out what they were doing that I tried to reverse engineer, well, why are they trading in this specific way, right? So getting clear on your why can help you avoid all these different blow ups. And like for the first 10 years, the first 10 years, I, like, I kind of felt like uh, the this guy from Greek mythology, his name was, was uh, King Sisyphus, and he uh, did something where he ticked off Zeus, and Zeus uh, sentenced him to roll up a boulder uphill for eternity, right? And so, uh, like, if you go on YouTube and you look up uh, pushing a boulder for eternity, like, you, you'll see, like, like this cartoon of uh, this guy pushing this boulder uphill, like trying to get it there, like it rolls back down, like he's getting ticked off and tries all these different things, finally gets it to the top of the hill, and then Zeus points at another mountain and it's not like this a volcano, right? And he's gotta go do that. And it's just this insane thing, but that, to me, that's what blowing up can also feel like, right? Like where you're just going through these boom and bust cycles and you're never really making any progress. Now, the reason why it took me so long to make any kind of real progress was because I wasn't clear on my why. I wasn't clear on what the goal was. Make money, great. Like, well, well, what does that even mean, right? Like, like hey, here's a winning trade. Like, you made money, fantastic. Like, well, what does that mean? Well, what does it mean to be consistently profitable? Well, what, what methodology are you going to follow? Do you want to grow a retirement account? Do you want to grow a shorter term savings account where you're saving for, for like a house or for a school or for a car or whatever it is? Are you trying to generate income? Are you trying to turn this thing over? Like, well, what's the, what's the goal? What's the idea? We've got to figure out that first. And then from there, we've got to model success, right? Like there's so many people out there that have done what it is that you're trying to do. Just go model success and then you will finally start to make progress towards the thing that you're trying to do and then what well, well, you won't just push the boulder up the hill and watch it fall over you'll actually get to the top and then you'll start to think well what's the next challenge that i could do i've conquered this thing and the boulder's staying where it's supposed to 
What else can I do now?